Hey y'all. I know I never go to the internet about my problems, but I just got out of jail. There's a phone call made and the police come and within three minutes of him being here, he'll attack me, knock me on the floor, put the cuffs on me, smush my ribs. He'll treat me like an animal and I'm not an animal. Then he'll take me to the, snatch me up and pull me back and put me, throw me in a car. In the police car where I hit my head and my arms is handcuffed, my hands handcuffed. So I'm highly upset. I'm telling him about how he gonna reap what he sow. Cause God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. With the last little breath of me and him trying to take me out, I'm letting him know God gonna handle you. So, I'm in the car, I'm telling him that. I mean, hit the brake when my eye hit the glass, black my eye. And I'm like, are you serious? He laughing, he think it's funny, doing me dirty over a small petty dispute that everyone have with they, with they mate. He think it's funny. He get me to the jail and I tell him, tell them what he did to me. I hear the car laughing. They done threw me up against the wall, the brick wall. I'm already bruised. My ribs just feel like they crushed. They throw me against the wall. And after they throw me against the wall, they take all my stuff off of me and start to take me to the back. And he's standing there with his hand over his head, like he in distress, like he hurt. He came out and showed them his knee at first. And I'm like, I know you ain't trying to act like somebody did something to you and you just tackled me and hurt me like this. And he gonna go back there and hold his head like he's crying, like he's hurt. After he had bruised me and hurt me so bad. And after he did this to me, I got bruises all over my arm, my face, my ribs. And they throw me in isolation. I feel like they was torturing me. I felt like they was gonna kill me. Y'all don't understand. I'm trying to tell y'all without getting upset because I can barely breathe if I get upset. So, and I want everybody to know what happened to me if I don't live to tell my story. I want y'all to know. I was in isolation in Bartow County after the officer did that to me and act like he was in distress and went to the hospital. I was in the isolation for 16 hours, no water, nothing to eat. So I was begging. I was putting stuff on the camera. That's the only way they would acknowledge me if I put some on the camera. Like they wanted to watch me suffer in my pain. Y'all don't understand. You don't really understand. I felt like I was in a devil's dungeon. I, I cried out because I, everything I had in me I, is gone. I'm crying out. I can't even cry right now because it's going to hurt. And I want to tell y'all what happened to me. And, oh my God. I had to kick the door and kick the door, and kick the door, and beat the door, and hit the speaker till somebody answered me. I slept on the floor, no cover, on the hard floor with a hole in the floor in the hole all night. We went bruised up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So the next morning, I kicked the door and 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 I kicked the door. So I, I, I told him I'm tortured. Somebody help me, please help me, please. They killing me in here because they were killing. They were killing me, y'all. They were killing me. You know? Okay, calm down. Calm down. I want to let you. They were killing me, y'all. They 
you're killing me. And then the morning, the man, he came with the nurse. The next morning, that was Monday, I went to jail at 5. He came the morning at 7 or 8 o'clock. I don't know what time it was. And he opened the door. And he said, Miss May, get yourself together. I'm going to let you out of here. And he had not seen this man. But he was like a light from, from God, an angel from heaven at that moment. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Oh, my God. That place full of devils, man. There's a few good people there, but there's a lot of devils there. Man. Oh, my God. They tortured me. He wanted me to die in that cell from my bruise, my ribs being bruised because he tried to collapse my lung. And I feel like I, it, it probably is when I'm laying down, I need to sit up. But I can only get calm down by laying down and telling y'all what happened to me. And I'm in this cell on the floor in the hole all night. And it's boo-boo on the wall. It's blood on the wall. The floor is full of hair and everything. And they slammed me face down on the floor and I had to sleep in that hole all night. And they was telling me they were going to take my clothes and leave me with nothing if I didn't stop contacting them about the pain that I was in. So that man let me out that morning and I went to the holding cell and I was in the holding cell for a whole other day. But they let me use the phone because they want these bruises to go away. They don't want nobody to see how bad they did me. And the bruises has gotten lighter because they done had me in there going on four days now. And they didn't want nobody to see what they did to me. They was hoping I died in there so they can throw it off like they do everybody else. I want to tell y'all what is on my spirit to tell y'all. Because I can barely breathe right now. And I just want you to know. <sighs> Oh my God, that was torture. They wanted me to kill myself. They wanted me to lay there and die in feces. It was so bad. I can't believe they do humans like that. Yeah, I can't even, I can't believe they I'm so I did not deserve that. I did not deserve to be treated like an animal. I did not. I did not deserve it. Not it. Oh, I can barely breathe, so I can't get upset no more. I'm crying out. I cried. No. Oh, for 24 hours straight, I can't barely breathe no more, y'all. I don't know how much the devil be fighting me for so long to it's hard for to go on, but I got to go on because I know I need my children to need me. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> if y'all could know my whole life, y'all would know it's been so hard. Oh my God, y'all don't understand. I can't believe these people did this to me. But this ain't the first time I've been mean, the police have beat me before and it's not even my fault. I don't, it's not even my fault. Like, I don't nothing warrants somebody to be treated like that. When they're not it just it ain't even a, like you hurt everybody. It's just it's just don't even make sense. I don't even belong here with these evil people. <laughs> I just want to, I know I should go online and tell y'all what happened. <laughs> but I need somebody got to tell y'all. <laughs> the devil working so hard. <laughs> but God, God go keep us strong. <laughs> keep strong, y'all. <laughs> if they take me out, I want y'all to know that. <laughs> Stay strong. 
You <laughs> didn't took my children. They just took everything I had. They just don't want me to live no more. They want me to die. They took everything I live for. I don't know what to do. Besides die at this point, y'all. So, this is something I just have to tell the world in case something happened to me cause they hide it when they have done the devil has attacked me through every way he could possible I don't know I don't never get online I don't get I don't hate I hate to be on here but I can't just go out and I let y'all know what these people did to me <laughs> Y'all get them for everything they done to me. <laughs> Please. Marshall County is so evil. It's a dungeon. It is a devil's dungeon, y'all. I would just go away for a while, y'all, because I've been fighting this enemy so long because i just been trying to make it better. No. Give up. I ain't gonna die unless they kill me. I can't kill myself, my baby Stevie. So <laughs> I will not give up through this pain. <laughs>